It's nine years since, since you made that. Yeah, almost ten years. Do you, do you still kind of look back on that as a happy time of your life? Probably the best time of my life. It was the first experiences that really um, showed me how to grow up. Um, I learned a lot of lessons, and it was a really happy time. Did you? You made friends on the set. You taught. I mean, you were young enough to think of E.T. as a real, as a real alien, as a real person. Yeah. Oh, I believed he was one of my best friends in the whole world, and <laughs> sometimes I still think he is, but he was um, really important to me. Did you go and, and talk to the dummy and, and as if it was a real person? Yeah, I would eat my <laughs> lunch with him every day. I mean, you, were, you were a mature six when you made the film. I mean, had you had a lot of, of acting experience before that? Yeah, um, I had done one feature film, um, maybe three or four TV movies, and about 20 commercials. When, so. How old were you when you started? I was 11 months when I started. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did your mother want you to, to be an actress? Well, um, a friend suggested that she take me on this audition when I was 11 months for um, a puppy chow commercial. And I went in and the dog bit me on the nose. <laughs> and everybody freaked and like stood still and I started laughing and I got the commercial. So after that, I just continued to do some commercials and um, I did some TV movies and I was about four, and my, I was staring at the TV, and I s said something about this is my life, and she explained to me that maybe, you know, it was too difficult for me, and I said, no, this is what I want to do. So um, knowing that I wanted it so much, because she didn't want it for me, she just wanted me to be happy. But when she understood that it was what I wanted, she helped me a lot. Well, you're a Barrymore. I mean, you come from a, such a long dynasty, a dynasty, of, of actors and actresses. Yeah, but I didn't understand that when I was little. Um, my name was just my last name, and I was explained many times that my family was a very big acting family and, and the Shakespearean theater, but I never really understood. And then as I got older, my mother would show me more work of my family. Of course, your, your progress downhill from the time you were about nine has been pretty well documented, but in, in a sense, it's good to hear it again because it can be a lesson and it can, can help other young people. I mean, how old were you when you first had alcohol? Nine. And then, well, how did you start to drink? It's like the usual way, somebody said, have a drink at this. Right. Um, well, I had grown up very fast and it's not very normal to see a nine-year-old at a big Hollywood party drinking. And um, it looks a little weird and people were laughing and just saying, you know, I dare you to do this, and I did, and I got really drunk, and it was such a scary, frightening feeling, yet it was such an escape from everything else in the world that I became, I had a very liking to it, and... Um, Do you think that because ran in the family? Because, I mean, you had a, there were generations of Barrymore yes. who were keen on the drink. Yeah, my whole family, my whole family was definitely, they were all drinkers, and, um, and they abused it, and, um, they say it's hereditary, and I'm sure it is, because I have a long list of it. But what about the drugs? That started when I was about 10 and 11, and... Um, 10? It, who, who gave you your first drug, for goodness sake? Um, as I said then, they were friends, but they weren't really friends. And um, to me, it just seemed normal. All the people I were around did it, and I thought it was a way of life that was just normal to be living. But I mean, well, the, the people you were around weren't the same age as you, they weren't? No, I always had older friends. I was always with a much very advanced older crowd from when I was about six. How did you feel? You, you, you must have felt, they must have made you feel good. Yeah, it did. It was um, that great escape that you look for when you're younger, or any, actually at any age in your lifetime, you look for that escape to get away from your problems in life. And when you do drugs, your problems in normal life seem so much bigger that you just, you know, you kind of do more just to get away from them. It's kind of, it's a down, complete downward It's a spiral. complete down, downhill cycle that you just get caught up into and either you make it out or you don't and it's, it's very scary. And you went for the treatment, but it, that, took, that you had setbacks and you, you did some crazy things when you came out of treatment. Yeah, I did. Um, at first I was clean, but I, you know, I was off drugs, but I still had the same behavior and was still doing the same things. And that's when I really got clean, when I realized I just wasn't doing it right. I mean, is there any kind of, obviously the message is to all young people, don't do it. To, however young you are, you can fall into these traps. 
Is there any one rule that you'd say or anything that you'd say to parents? Um, well, that whole just, I mean, you can't just say just say no because it doesn't, they don't listen. I didn't listen and, and other friends of mine didn't listen. You have to really understand where your kid is coming from, from a parent, and you have to let go and um, turn it over to a, like either a higher power, whatever you believe in, and have a lot of patience and understanding and really help your kid. <clears throat> and for the kids, it really depends on the individual because everybody is different and everybody needs a certain different type of help to get through their problem. And hopefully they can find the right one and really stick with it. And it takes a lot of patience and a lot of understanding. And you, you, at, you how old are you now? Fif I'm 15, almost 15. 16. And you're just living a day at a time? Yes, one minute, one moment. We wish you well. And uh, it's good to see you look well. It's good to see a young person come out the other side. It must have taken a great deal of, of fortitude, strength, and <laughs> intelligence. But it looks as if things are on the up for you. Barry. We look forward to seeing E.T. with you in it. A, a very small Drew Barrymore, very innocent, with, with an awful time ahead of her. And now you're at the other side of it. And we hope you'll continue to be. Thank you. Drew Barrymore.